Good morning. Welcome to the March 1st edition of Advisory Live. We're powered by NASDAQ IR Insight, and I'm your host, Will Briganti. Joining me today from NASDAQ's advisory services team is Miles Clouston. Miles, thanks so much for joining us. Pleasure to be here. Will. All right, so we're going to talk about two uh, relevant and timely topics today. We're going to talk about the Federal Reserve, and we're going to talk about jobless claims. Let's okay. kick off with the Fed. Uh, we recently had some public remarks from newly appointed uh, Fed Chair Jerome Powell, yes. uh, and actually you were interviewed by the Los Angeles Times about this. So let's Correct. let's give our viewers <clears throat> a, uh, a quick overview on what Mr. Powell said. Yeah, first of all, I think overall the prepared remarks were nothing too unsettling, pretty much in line with what we expect. It was more around the Q&A that people really um, were kind of on the edge of their seats. And he was very direct and um, and forthcoming uh, in his comments in the Q&A and definitely came across uh, as a little bit more hawkish uh, than anticipated. Um, but at the same time, the street has been gradually thinking that we may get a fourth rate hike. And I think that this opened the door for that, um, and that we may get a, a steeper trajectory on the rate hike cycle. So spooked the market a little bit, mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time, you know, we have had a nice recovery since the 10% correction. We pretty much have made up most of the gains. We've stumbled a little bit the last couple of days in the markets, but overall, um, yeah, the perception is that a little bit more hawkish there. Um, and so we'll, we'll, we'll have to kind of wait and see. Awesome. Okay. Uh, is this a bit of a, a separation from what the market was used to with uh, Yellen? Yes, I would say so in, in a lot of regards. I think overall it was consistent with what Yellen okay. said as yeah. far as saying it will be gradual. Yeah. So maybe the gradual will be a little quicker, but at, at the same time does want to maintain that, that it's not going to be a hockey stick higher in, okay. in rate hikes. But the market just needs to get used to his style. He's going to want to put his stamp, if you will, on you know, uh, on his um, tenure. Uh, and I think overall, the market will appreciate his very direct and open and honest. Just needs to be careful that every word he says will yeah. be absolutely, you know, taken apart. Yes, of yeah. course. Let's move uh, over to economic data, Miles. Yes. So my last question for you is, there was some economic data that came out this morning on jobless claims. Break right. down what happened. Yeah, jobless claim number was very good today. It was yeah. a decreased 10,000 to 210,000 initial jobless claims, which was anticipated to be around 225,000. And this is actually the lowest multi-decade, I believe, since about 1969. That's so right. yeah. uh, it continues. To, uh, at a high level to underscore that the job market is strong. Mm -hmm. The question now is will we continue to see wage inflation tick to where we need it to be to help get that um, inflation number to that 2% target. On that front though we did have the PC core PCE uh, inflation data out this morning and it came in line with expectations so hopefully we continue to see things um, move in the right in the right direction to kind of uh, to help things along and to get to that two percent. Miles, thank you so much for breaking those topics down for us today. Pleasure, Will. We appreciate having you on. Ladies and gentlemen, this was Miles Clouston. He's a senior director at NASDAQ Advisory Services. Thank you so much for tuning in to the March 1st edition of Advisory Live. We'll be back to you next week.